and welcome to Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Our top story, Kelowna is known for its warm summers and beautiful scenery, but now we're being known for something else, a little less desirable. According to Statistics Canada, more motorists were pulled over for impaired driving in the city than anywhere else in the country. So we can look at, at that as a bit of a triangle. Uh, you know, obviously we've increased our enforcement in, in line with our priority of road safety and, and uh, you know, people obviously, uh, or some drivers just aren't getting the message as well. Uh, the increase of, of drug impaired drivers that we've seen and our increased enforcement. Um, but as well, you know, the implementation of the immediate roadside prohibition within the last couple of years. All these, these three things basically have, have contributed to, to cause the numbers to come up. And, uh, you know, I think it's something to, uh, in a way, to be celebrated because our enforcement is obviously working. Vancouver, Victoria and Abbotsford joined Kelowna in the top 10 ranking. Emergency crews were called to Big White on Tuesday after receiving reports of a snowboarder stuck in the snow. The man was found headfirst in a creek bed and it's estimated he had been there for over two hours. They removed him from the hill and his condition deteriorated quickly. Um, he uh, attempts were made to revive him, but uh, unfortunately they were unsuccessful, and uh, he has since passed away. In another death-related incident, this time in a Soyuz, where a man died following an industrial accident. The construction site of a Soyuz cottage was taped off Thursday morning. WorkSafe BC and the coroner are investigating. No further details are available. After 37 years in the community, Crossroads Alcohol and Drug Treatment Centre is closing its doors. The culmination of many years of funding challenges coupled with mounting financial pressures as well as a recent breakdown in negotiations with our main funding partner, we have to make a very difficult and disheartening decision that we can no longer afford to provide the services that we have for many years. The centre is $1.3 million in debt and the closure means the Okanagan will lose its only residential rehab centre as well as put 69 employees out of a job. Several winter storms swept through the Okanagan this week bringing over 20 centimetres of snow to Kelowna. Highways across the province were shut down, while here in the city, police dealt with multiple car crashes due to severe road conditions. The Kelowna International Airport also experienced problems after a WestJet plane went off the tarmac. There were no injuries, however, several flights were delayed by the incident. Close to 100 members of various First Nations communities gathered at the Soyuz border crossing last Saturday. As part of the nationwide movement Idle No More, members protested the alleged abuses of treaty rights by the Harper government. More protests are planned throughout the Okanagan in the coming weeks. Well, that wraps up Castanet's Week in Review. I'm Jen Zielinski. Thanks for watching. Remember to send your news tips to news at castanet.net and follow us on Twitter at, at Castanet News.